Think of an ongoing global challenge. Energy, potable water, global warming, plastics. Solutions to all these issues exist everywhere and all we need to do is have a look. Welcome to a place we have dubbed Accra's Innovation Village, where an amazing group of people, largely unknown and informal, are transforming plastic waste into amazing products. This is every day in the world of plastic, where plastic become more into the system than any other material. So we realize that we have to think ahead and then know how best to solve the plastic issue. The AMA has recognized that our resilience and our thriving of the city is dependent also on having innovative solutions to the challenges that we have. For instance, the plastic is a primary cause or is one of the main causes of the flooding that we have in the city. And so for us to even tackle the flooding challenge, we know if we're able to get more plastics out of the waste stream into recycling, as it's being done now, it will help the city ultimately. We want to make sure that uh, managing plastics uh, ends up in the creation of a lot of jobs. We want everybody who knows anything about a plastics value chain to get employed and make a living out of that. You can see this bottle, a consumable bottle made of uh, HDPE. So they, come, uh, they all come here, we segregate them here into different forms of materials and then different colors. We have blue color, green color, and black color. Then we start the crushing. When we start the crushing, we do the washing, which means treatment of that material. Yeah, for inside I'm um, our treatment plant or near the gum. Now I'm setting the temperature. So we share material who are 100 degrees Celsius and now 120 degrees Celsius. This is a fat treatment plant in Umwa. So James Bio, the Bio Umwa, now a killing in every. Now if you want more, we are come mixing machine. Mix it now. I want to say we pay blue color, green color, red color. We pay no. Now we are gum. Now I saw and also and also the same heating system room. Now I saw and also for some minute, about five minutes, and now ten minutes. But if you hold here, then now they are called machine no more. Then my share go machine no more. Machine and also a certain temperature ho from 220, 230 up to 180 degrees Celsius. Then and now they be melt no. Now I push no into the mode and they are different modes. Mode they work machine no more no. Say a bucket. Say a cap, say a bow, different size be a woman. Yeah, no. Then a position injection, uh, you know, inject it, material no guma. In the baby you have a bano, obey baby no, now when you upload that now, which I know now about with the colors now we make say now no. If we are then a bag no. A baggy we are a honour if you customers and we are be market women no, it will be called on a four bar, a crama colour four bar, two feeding for you, I'm going to be to be. From the agro-emulator, the material comes here. And that's how it looks like. So from here, you can see it's colorless. So we need to add color to it to get our production, the colored production we want. And that's how it flows through the water and then comes through to the basin, the roller. So this is cutting ropes. Wherever you see it sold in market, that's where it's coming from. So when we produce the ropes, all the waste we get, we gather them together and then produce this with it. This why it's inserted under the uh, metallic uh, chair stands so that it will not be slippery and, uh, on the floor tiles. So you realize that there's nothing left when it comes to plastic here. We use everything and we make good use of them in every way. In Ghana here, we have a lot of plastic waste and it's not all that are recyclable. So I try to bring a different innovation. This is a school furniture, mixture of PVC, RDP, HDP, GPPS, or everything plastic. Mixture of it to produce the two by two. So I realized it was good. So I brought out another one to replace the wawa board. 
If I'm saving the forest, why should I use wood? So let me try it without the wood and see how it will look like. So this 100% plastic without sawdust to see how it looks like. And I realize it works. This is just the first prototype. So we'll polish on that. So I want to make it look more nicer than this. And apart from that, we bring in more innovation, like trying to use the same plastic for floor tiles and then other products. They may not have the highest education, but they have solutions. Solutions that can help Ghana so much. There are some who have I mean, extended family members who they take care of, even those in their villages. They send out remittance to support their families. As part of our plans and our engagement, we recognize that the informal sector operators, for instance, do not have capacity by themselves to improve the quality of the products that they are making. And we think as a city, we are poised to leverage the linkages that we have with other agencies, for instance, in quality standards and through Ghana Standards Authority. We also know there are some environmental issues associated with recycling. And we have the capacity of liaising with the EPA, for instance, to help in that direction. We also introduce um, informal operators like uh, our colleagues in Dakuma to donors. Um, currently, we've introduced them to the city of Paris through an arrangement that the city has. And we believe there's something positive in terms of capacity building uh, could come out of that. In UNDP, we believe in the power of innovation towards the achievement of sustainable development goals. This will not only help us reduce the level of waste in our environment, it will also create economic opportunities for many Ghanaians. As we search for ways of curbing the plastic menace, we are happy to see the work being done by these innovators to give a second life to plastic. I would urge all Ghanaians to help segregate waste. Waste is wealth. The things that we say are waste can become the raw material for other industries. We have seen it in Dakuma, where they are taking the plastics and making it into other productive um, products. From now on, consider every piece of waste that you are handling as some money with value. We are putting the infrastructure in so that it will tell you where to go and uh, get, get the money for it. The government is very, very serious and we want to work with everybody in this country because everyone has a role to play.